most recent video of the little video update of the car. Um, if you've been watching the other videos, then you can see it's a lot different than it was in my my last video. Most notably, because of the or the most obvious thing is the uh, all the bling <laughs> on the look all the all the chrome stuff now for the all the intake piping and the little SSTV um, blow off valve hooked up. Um, yeah, I built this little box to shield off the air. Um, made my own little air filter so I'm not sucking in hot engine air. I'm sucking in cooler air that's it actually because it because this one um, seals against the hood whenever I close the car. <coughs> it's that that right that perfect height. Um, the only air that's really going to be sucking in is from behind the headlights or this little gap in there. Uh, which goes straight down underneath the car, so it's just going to suck in cooler air, and there's plenty of places for it to suck it in from. So um, This is where the battery used to be on the 5SFE, but the problem was coming out of the turbo, I, w I wanted to come straight with the uh, I wanted to come straight with the air intake. So um, I moved the battery back here, so now it's there. Um, from some German car. I, I don't remember. I, I I gave him the measurements that I wanted and he got me one with it has got sunken posts. So I don't really don't have to worry about um I still have to build a little mount for it so that it kind of sits level and I don't want it to arc on the I don't want it to rub on the hood and then arc in a you know a little spot in the hood. So a nice Canon air filter with the blue rim on it. I forget what part number that is but um so that tubing that I am almost finished with running. I just need a little section here. It's about an eight inch, two and a quarter piping. About an eight inch section of two and a quarter piping. Go from there to there. Um, and then some couplers here and here. I want to continue with my little 45 degree couplers because I managed to put, um, and I have to put some, like an actual metal piece inside of that instead of the silicone that's not going to seal off very well at all. It'll be a big piece leak. Um, but I managed to go with just 45 degree couplers on almost the whole system. Um, or just 45 degree bends, I mean, on just the whole system. With the exception of these two mandrel long 90 degrees. Like they're, they're long, so they're still good on flow. Um, long and gradual bend instead of a short, tight 90 degree bend. And then it's all 45 degree bends coming up from this side. <clears throat> I want to figure out how to go from a 90 degree bend from there. Or to keep from going from a 90 degree bend from there to there. So it's just keep with the 45s. Um, it's better on flow than a 90. I couldn't really avoid it there and there. But because it's, this actually touches the hood. Um, but that's, that's okay. I mean, it's kind of, you know, you got to got to give somewhere so that's two and a quarter coming off the turbo two and a quarter going into that little section two and a quarter two and a half right there by the alternator then going down and those are the two 45 degree bends couplers and then there's another 45 degree bend it's going to go there i have to order one more coupler for this side and then that'll all be done with that one coupler there and then the uh the pipe section there so, air will go out of the turbo into this side, down close to the exhaust on that side, so that it's kind of, it's, if it gets hot, it'll be hot on that side before it goes into the intercooler. And then it comes up there and up. And then I have a long 45 degree, can't see it very well, but I have a long 45 degree coupler, which is actually, um, the inside diameter of it is two and a quarter. Or sorry, inside diameter is two and a half, and this pipe inside of it is two and a half. So it's, you know, I did that because it kind of has to squeeze a little bit. You can see how it's kind of squished in just a little bit there, right there between the starter and this three-inch piping going into the turbo. Oh yeah, by the way, this is three-inch. Um, I used three-inch piping. The 
air filter has a three inch inlet, three inch piping, all mandrel bent, um, and it's three and it's a three inch to a two and three quarter inch um, on the on the turbo. I have I'm not going to worry about connecting this. This is the only sensor that's not connected. Um, well, I mean, kind of. This is I still have to really. This is for the air sensor for the Autronic um, EMS. The I'm gonna just put a little dot of solder, heat it up, and run some solder on it just to make sure it's a good solid connection um, for the air temperature sensor, airflow sensor. Uh, so it's gonna be. I'm just gonna stick that right there in that little hole, and then try to seal it off somehow with. I don't know how to figure that out. So, yeah, I just gotta pop the connectors inside of these, inside of this, and that's it. I mean, I've got my um, everything else is connected. I, I, the last video, I only talked about how the four signal wires for the individual coils were connected, and my injectors weren't connected yet. The injectors are connected now. Uh, you can't really see them with this. Um, actually, I can't even see them right now. Yeah, I can. So. I have to run the water cooling lines, uh, the the coolant routing for the for the heater. I've got to run the some of the. I've got to run the manual boost controller. Um, and the hoses to that. Not much. Not much left. I've got that's. Actually, third gen 3SGE um, coolant necks. I don't need. I've got a 3SGTE one on the way. Um, and then I have an MR2 one too. So I've got, man, all three third gen ones. So I, I don't know. I try to figure out if I can actually sell the MR2 one and the 3SGE one as the. Uh, the GT4 one has got to be different, a little bit different. It's pretty close to the 3SGE one, but it's just different enough to where it's not, well, to where it's a problem. So there's actually, uh, so the individual coils, all the wiring is ran. I've got it. Um, this is one ground point for the coils, and the little, the little ground wires are for the, um, For the little individual igniters that's on top of each one of the coils, and then I've got a fatter ground wire that is over here. So I'll bolt it in just to as short as I can get it, the shortest ground point I can make it to. Um, and I ran four individual ground wires extensions all the way to to the closest place that it's going to be grounded. Um, I did the same thing with the power wires. I ran four. Um, 10 gauge wires from each one of the coils all the way over. That's these four fat red wires. So I ran that all the way over. I'm gonna have each one going through a different um, different fuse. And man, I am. I've got to hook up power to the Autronic, which is still isn't over here yet. Um, keeping it at my house just so it's not at the car until it's all hooked up and I'm driving it around. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's coming along. What else? Oh, I, this is cool. My timing belt cover. I had a snapped one. Somebody's belt, I have one that was all broken. Somebody's belt had a uh, broken on them and they busted through the cover so I ended up they said they had it so they when I ordered some stuff from them I just asked them to put it in the box so I cut out a window put some really really cheap plexiglass well, plexiglass is a brand but clear plastic put some really cheap clear plastic in there and yeah, it's got a it's got that you know that DJ squeak a little bit um, when you rub on it it's not smooth it's not clear but I've got four little LEDs inside of it and 
I'm, I'm not worried about the wires getting caught up in the timing belt because the two legs that are coming off the bottom of the LED, I drilled two tiny holes and I stuck the two legs through. And then I bent one one way and I bent one the other way. And so you can't tell, but it's all sealed in RTV silicone. Um, the four LEDs that shine on the cam gears, the little HKS ones. It looks nice at night. Just, you just, it's not, I don't want to light it up right now because you can't even tell. It's not, it's too bright outside to see it. But, um, so I ran the RTV silicone over the wires that are outside of the timing belt cover. And then I sprayed the whole thing with truck bed liner. So there's absolutely no way, like just with the RTV silicone alone, holding in the, uh, the wires, there's absolutely no way that the LEDs, the little lights can come loose and get caught in the timing belt because they're all tucked away. And held in there. So the only way they would come out is if the timing belt snapped, in which case it wouldn't really matter anyway um, if they got hung up in the belt or the gears because the belt snapping would, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So that's that's it for this video. I've got to build a mount for this, this battery. Um, this is a new thing. This little air box that I built. This is going to suck in cool air from from that little hole down there close to the bottom of the car. So cool air is going to get sucked in from there. Um, and no, I'm not going to take out one of my headlights because it, I don't want water getting on my filter. So, yeah, this is, you know, I, I like the, uh, it's compact, but it's still fairly neat. You know, I've got the little bend going there for the air filter. But, so that's it.